Brees Matthews asked, as a computer science student, I'm curious about any programming computer science experience used in making the show uh, or book. I recently learned that Andy Weir wrote a program to do orbital calculations while writing The Martian, and I would love to know if any similar homebrew coding was done in making any parts of The Expanse. Well, on the show, there's a lot of programming, I'm sure, that's being done. We have a uh, 3D modeling department that does actual VR modeling of all of our spaces so that directors and, and lighting people can actually VR in a space that has not been built yet. And I know a lot of the, the work done to create that was homebrewed. We actually hired uh, some very talented VR programmers to come in and, and work on that for us. So I know that. And I'm sure there's other stuff like that that's happening all the time in, in the production. In the books, no. I used to do a little programming way back in the day. Uh, Daniel used to work in a tech support department. I'm sure he's written hundreds or thousands of scripts in his time, computer scripts. Uh, neither of us has any interest in doing it anymore. And we both avoid it like the plague. Charles Kim wants to know, Wes, since you and many other celebrities have started to study Brazilian jiu-jitsu, are you ever concerned about suffering an injury like a black eye or having to wear a cast and it interfering with your filming schedule? And Wes, I would like to hear about the time you fucked up your leg in the middle of shooting. That's an interesting story to tell uh, this guy here. That was not, you can't connect that to jujitsu. I'm not supposed to, I don't train <laughs> while I'm working on the show. I'm contractually not allowed to train while I'm on the show. So that was uh, an accident that happened on set. Um <laughs> <laughs> but I did have a panel. Do you remember this panel we did at, uh, it was a Caltech. We did a panel and I got my tooth knocked out before I went to. Oh, that's, uh, that's right. Grapp- yeah. When we did Caltech. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we we're, we're, we were doing Caltech and I, I was grappling uh, early in the morning and I got my tooth knocked out. I caught an elbow and it knocked my tooth out and I had to go get a cap. I had to go to the dentist and the dentist didn't, obviously, you know, they have to order a cap. They have to match it to your teeth. So they put like a, t- it looked like a chiclet. It was like a wooden, <laughs> like an Abraham, like an Abraham Lincoln tooth, <laughs> like the wooden tooth and those things in there. And I had to do that whole panel and pictures and everything. The reality is, yeah, you do worry about it. Uh, a lot of celebrities, they'll do privates. They work with private coaches and, and, uh, but I go to classes and I do, I work a lot with privates and I, and if I was training this last season, well, there was no training happening because there was a shutdown in Canada. So nobody was training there. But if I was, I would do mainly privates because of COVID and, and those sort of things. But I didn't, I didn't train there. So I think it's safer if you train with people that have been training a lot longer, that have a lot of experience. They, they know how to train in a way that doesn't, uh, have any high risks if you go to open mats or if you go to uh to certain classes you might get some uh people that are trying to win a trophy (laughs) and you might get some bumps and scrapes and you know and you have to go to work and they got to cover up with makeup and i've been in that situation before so it is a cost to training that's it so i want to know who was putting you in a leg lock on set that fucked up your leg it wasn't a leg lock that fucked up my leg it was those space boots that we wear those fucking space (laughs) boots man they have like a hard they restrict your ankle movement when you do them ellis wilson asks would you guys ever run a tabletop role play game that we could watch maybe the alien rpg D &D, or even the expanse rpg it would be super fun and entertaining uh i don't know about anybody else but no i would not and I have a very simple reason for that. Role-playing games are my downtime. They are my relaxation with my friends. They are not for public consumption. And they are not, I, I would never, if I ever turned role-playing into well, something that I considered part of my job, it wouldn't be fun anymore. So no, I would never do it. I reserve role-playing for yes. the bedroom. Uh, no, Ty, you wouldn't want to do a role-playing game? Not for public consumption, no. Because reading this, I was like, oh, this would be fun. This would be a good idea. We, we had that. You guys could do it. We had a really good time over at Clint's I'm, house. I'm fine with other people doing it. I just, I, it's not my thing. You would have to run no, the game. I would not. We're going to work on him, Alice Wilson. Thank you. Thank you for the question. <laughs> <laughs> James Dover asked, Listen, I wanted to know the difference, if any, between the show Amos and Amos in the books. So I have a really simple answer for you on this one. Read the books, watch the show, and you can decide for yourself. What do you think, Wes? I think that was a great answer. 